Hey everyone, Tired Techni here. Let me tell you what, I am just beat. My uh, real job, you know, where I make real money. I don't make any money from this YouTube, you know. <laughs> but uh, my real job has really just picked up pace. Uh, I guess that can be a good thing, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, depending on what you do. You get more hours, uh, you know, this, that, the other, more, bigger paycheck. Um, but good night, I am exhausted. So anyways, I apologize if I'm a little uh, drowsy, a little uh, woozy here and there. But uh, hey, let's go on and review this product. What we have here today is a headset, the Steel Series, Arctix 5. Arctis. Arctis. That's right, Arctis 5. That's not just the Arctix 5, it's the Arctis 5 2019 edition. Hoo 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 hoo. Now, before we get into talk about the headset or anything like that, or why is the 2019 edition any different, let me go on and show you it. So after looking at the headset right there, I mean, I, I think this thing looks good, right? I, I think it totally gets the pass in the style class. But before we get talking to anything else, whether it be the comfort and sound and everything, let's talk about what makes them the 2019 edition. And now on SteelSeries site, they list all this. And what they say is they added a little bit more padding to the ear cushions because some people used to say that their ears would touch the inside. Now, my ears still touch the inside. I don't know if I just got, you know, these big old flappers back here. But um, it's just really because the cushion on this is incredibly soft. Like it's cozy, but again, it's so soft. And it's not like my ears touch the inside and it's uncomfortable. But I feel the tip of my ear touching in here. Maybe, you know what, maybe it's because of my glasses. Um, cause the, you know, the uh, arm of my glasses push my ear out a little bit right up there and they touch up there. You know what? Hey, let's debunk this right now. If so, let's try. Yeah, that, look at that. We both just learned something. All right, so that covers that. It is my glasses that's pushing my ear out, making it touch the top up there. Again, it's not like this painful bit or this annoying bit. Honestly, when I'm using it, I don't even really notice it, but it, it does touch. Now, one other thing they said they updated was the, your buttons on the side, whether it be your scroll wheel and your mute button and all that stuff. They said they made them a little more firmer. I guess before they were real wiggly and jiggly. Um, now they said they made them firmer and a little bit smaller. I, I don't know, I didn't use the old one, so I can't really state on that, but it feels fine. It doesn't just like roll on its own or anything. I mean, they're right there with your mic mute and then your roll. Let me show you here. There he goes. You can see him right there and um, they move perfectly fine. I don't have any complaints with it. Now, the two other things they added relate to the sound. They said they updated the uh, the bass in them. Um, again, I don't know how the old ones sound, but the bass in these are perfect. It's not like that real muddy, thumpy, uh, just dirty bass. It's it's just a quality bass across the board, and it sounds good. Um, the other thing is the DTS. They said they updated to DTS 2.0, right? So uh, I'm not sure what 1.0 was, but... Uh, Honestly, it sounds good, and if any of you have watched some of my other headset uh, reviews, I do not like that fake surround sound that they put into these uh, headsets. You know, I really just don't like them. I feel like it lowers everything and raises the highs, but uh, with it active on these, it truly sounds good. It's not like this 7.1 where it's just like, whoa, 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 coming from everywhere, but it just... I don't know, it, to me it feels like it balances everything out. All right, so now that we cover the updates of what makes this the 2019 edition, let's go on and actually get into the review. And you know, number one, we start with comfort. And let me tell you what, wowzers, these things are cozy. Just hands down cozy. Probably not very good for me to be wearing right now because I'm just absolutely tired and these things feel like I got pillows on my head. I mean, they just might make me just like go right down here and I just rest my head on it. But seriously, I mean, these guys are extremely cozy. Let me bring you in and see if we can get some focus on his ear pads. Can you see the material? It's almost like that sports material, right? That you see in, uh, you know, sports attire and whatnot. And then on the inside, you have that little pleather coating to prevent some sound bleed. But I mean, I just can't give it justice here. These things are so stinking soft, cozy, 
breathable, they stay cool on your head. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how the heck do you adjust them, right? Because all you got is this little uh, headband up here. And what you can do is just unvelcro that little guy right there. As you can see, it, uh, which is a pretty cool little touch, actually, I think. You can take this whole thing out, chunk it in the washer, and wash it if, uh, if you're one of them, uh, you know, real tense, sweaty gamers. But it's really cool because you can just adjust it like that, and then uh, your head just pretty much rests on it there. And it really just, again, it just feels like it's floating on your head. It's not too tight on your ears by any means at all. And then again, with this really soft, you know, stretchy headband up here, it feels like it just floats on your head. Now you also have plenty of movement within the ear cups as well. As you can see them going in and out here, and then you can turn them all the way flat or the back way out. Again, they don't adjust from the headband like most headsets. It's just all by this elastic right here. And um, let me tell you, again, as far as comfort, these things get an A++. I mean, so stinking cozy. All right, so number two, sound. Right, and we covered a little bit of that earlier with the DTS 2.0, right, and then the enhanced bass they put in it. And let me tell you what, these guys sound fantastic. I mean, I use the you use the Arctic software, so you get your little EQ mixer and everything. And I mean, you can just balance it out to your sound. If you want a little more bass, a little less bass, you know, a little more highs, you can really adjust how you want. And they sound fantastic. I mean, they get loud. Um, you get a little bit of rattle, uh, not rattle, but a little bit of, you know, that vib bass vibration in your ears. Not much, but it's, it's balanced. Again, it's not muddy or anything. I really like the sound of these. Now, some of you might be asking, well, how about console, right? Because on the side of the box, it says Windows, Apple, PlayStation 4, and mobile. Well, not PlayStation 4, it just says PlayStation, but you get my point. But anyway, so they give you this little deal right here. And you see this little wire where it plugs right into there. And then you plug it right into the wire of the headset. So now you have this deal. And honestly, guys, I tested it out on a PlayStation, and it's not good. It's just like compared to I used so much of it on the PC, and I was just like, just ecstatic with the sound. It was just so good. I said, "Wow, these things are awesome." And I said, "Well, you know, let, let's test them on consoles just in case, right?" And it's just. It was a complete letdown, so I do not recommend these for a console. Um, maybe look at the Arctic 3, I believe. Uh, I don't know how they sound. I haven't tested those, but um, I have some other reviews of headsets I really loved on console, but uh, these guys, I say stay away from them for console. But for PC, I do give these sound a complete win. I mean, they sound fantastic. So our two main things, I mean, we just hit them out of the ballpark, right? Comfort, hands down amazing, and the sound was it's good. It's not the best I've ever heard, right? Don't think I'm saying that like, oh, these are going to be the best things you've ever heard, you know? I still think those Turtle Beach uh, recons sound the best so far, you know? But uh, anyways, these sound absolutely great. These are definitely more comfortable than the Turtle Beach, hands down, but they also cost more. A lot of people complain about RGBs on headsets. I personally think they're cool. You guys know I don't really like RGB, but I don't use a headset every single time I'm gaming, right? So if I just got them, you know, sitting back here, hanging up on the wall next to my PC and these lights are going in the background, I think it's really cool because honestly, I use my sound on my PC rather than a headset the majority of the time I play. And again, if this is just hanging out in the background, I think it personally looks cool because so it's not just on your ears, but whenever it's just back there, it's like a decor piece, it looks really cool. All right, now we're gonna start talking about the mic, which you all have been waiting for, right? Which we'll do a mic test as well. But I wanna show you this before we get into that. And this little volume adjuster, if we can get some focus on this little guy here, can you see right there it says voice and then game or chat and then game and your headset just connects in the bottom when it's on that little white light lights up and it's really nice because you got a really big knob here and it has some uh, rubber grip on the bottom so say if it's on your desk and you're just you know cranking it like that it doesn't move like it's it's down there pretty tight which uh it, i honestly really like this thing as some of you know i'm just a solo joe out there right i'm not playing a bunch of uh you know on these party chats and whatnot but what i really like about this is you can go from game to chat and it'll actually lower the volume in your headset so that's pretty cool i kind of use it just on a, a quick volume adjust on a fly you know i set my pc and the headset up to 100 and then i just adjust this as my volume so a uh, pretty cool little feature like that and as for the mic on the headset it just comes out like that right there and it actually bends and it stays right there really really cool it's perfect length and then you can tuck it in there which i really like because it's not really uh, you know taking up the whole side of the headset or anything if you don't use it hey you can put it away right there right really nice and then for your mic to mute you have the button on the back that we saw earlier and you got mute and then you're going to push into active, right? But the really cool thing I like is this guy right here on the mic. So right now we're active. 
and now we're muted. So whenever you're muted, the uh, mic lights up red right there. Which one did that? The uh, the Corsair RGB Pro did that, right? Which that feature I really, really like. I mean, how many times uh, you're not sure, oh shoot, am I muted or not? Am I muted or not? You know, you got that notification right there in front of your face. That is such a cool feature right there. So again, when you press a button on the back, you're active when it lights off, you press it, and now you are muted. All right, let's go on and test out this mic. All right, so now we are doing a mic test on the headset. Um, the mic's about two inches from my mouth, and my OBS um, audio input capture is set to max, just so you can kind of judge it from there. While we do this mic test, let's go on and look at the SteelSeries software while we're in it. As you see, you have the DTS settings right here. I like it on. Again, it doesn't sound as bad as some of the other headsets with this uh, fake surround sound, so I leave it on. It sounds pretty nice. You have some uh, presets right here for your surround. Stereo, which is your room size, whatnot. Bass enhancement, I leave mine at high. Again, it doesn't really, you know, mud out all the other sounds and just the bass is overpowering. It's pretty nice and balanced, right? And you have your equalizer, which you can adjust, which is really nice because you can really set it to uh, whichever sound is nice for your ears, which I think everybody's is going to be a little bit different. And you have some presets right down here, right? Um, over here, let me cover this real quick while we're at it. You have your RGB settings, and this thing is just, wow, like, Good night, like look at all this stuff you can do. You have these up here, steady color shift, uh, breathe, and, you know, I usually leave mine on steady and right on red, but um, again, you have all those, and like I said, you can make it shift from whichever colors you want right here. You know, just pulse the red or, it's just, wow. I mean, there's just so much to do in that. Over here, you have live mic preview, and what that's gonna do is like when you're adjusting your uh, settings right in here, it's gonna let you hear in the headset what your settings sound like. So it's not necessarily mic monitoring, it's just letting you know all of your settings that you're setting right here. You can press this, activate it, and then in your headset, you're gonna sound how you sound to your friends. So the good thing about this is your friends aren't gonna be able to say, ah oh, man, your mic sounds like garbage. No, 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 I'll test it right now here in this, and you'll be able to hear how your mic sounds. So then you can actually blame your friends and say, no dude, it's your mic right? <laughs> but anyways, right here, you got all your mic volume and everything. Let me see, is that adjusting us right here? It's lowering us there. And then right over here, I'm not too sure if that's adjusting us, but hey, we just tried it right there. Noise reduction, which is again, just going to lower some of the uh, input right there from high. If you've got a lot of background noise, fans or PC noise or anything like that. And then your mic side tone. What the side tone is, this is your mic monitoring, right? So like right now, I'm hearing what I'm saying in the microphone and I can hear myself talking just kind of faintly in the background. If I turn it off, I don't hear myself at all. So so really cool settings. As far as the software and everything, I love it. You have maybe a little too many options, I guess, you know, but uh, the options are there, which is fantastic. So as far as mic test, I give these guys a complete win. One other downside I want to mention real quick while I'm praising these things, right? Let me just kind of bring this in and show you. Can you guys see my fingerprints right there in a couple of the little uh, scuffs? Right there on the, because they, what they have is like this matte, kind of soft matte finish, right? So you see kind of like whatever scuff you get on it, you really see it, or, or fingerprints, not even greasy, just like, you know, sweaty hands. You do see it right there. So maybe I might point you in the direction of the white ones. I'm sure the white ones still have that matte finish, but at least you're not going to see it, you know what I mean? But hey, let me know down in the comments. Do you use SteelSeries headsets, and what do you think about them? Are you thinking about picking these up? Again, I highly recommend them. But hey, thank you so much for watching this review on the SteelSeries Arctis 5 headset here. 2019 edition, right? Not just regular Artist 5, the 2019 edition. But hey, seriously, thank you so much for watching this one. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now. I always want to call them Arctics. Arctics 5 instead of Arctis. Arctic. Arctis. It's, it's definitely a twister.